Now to a story that might just leave you shaking your head. I got a text this morning saying that someone had defaced the George Floyd mural there on Chartres and Bell. When I got there, take a look. This is what I found. This uh, had been vandalized. And let me show you. Someone had defaced the mural with this message here saying, N-word lives don't matter. Now, while I was there, I had a chance to talk to the artist who actually made this mural. They showed up on the scene. Let me show you this video here. They showed up here on the scene to try to fix it. It while I was there uh, trying to put some tape over it in paper. I also talked with the artists and people who had to come to who had come to see the mural. They tell me they were happy this week about the guilty verdicts and felt real change was happening. And then this message of hate today. And we wanted to to bring peace to our community, knowing that you know we support how people grieve, you know, and, and for us, you know, putting our people on walls has always been part of our communities. When, when you look at it and see it's defaced in the words on there, what, what, what do you think about that? Hurt, angry, like he already went through enough. So why instead it torment him? Let his family have peace. You know, the jury made the decision, not the world. So, you know, that's just hurtful. Now, I am told by the artists that they have fixed this mural. It is no longer defaced. Uh, they also tell me they will continue to check back to make sure it doesn't get defaced again. They also tell me that this is not the first time something like this has happened. Coming up on the news at 4 o'clock, I'm going to show you that first message of hate artists tell me was put over this mural a few months ago. Now, I posted the photo of the graffiti and the cleanup right there on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages if you want to take another look at it.